Birdie East Drive. I'm not going to sit here and tell you the stories that you've heard a hundred times. I'm not going to recount the tales of the Black Monk, of Fred, or of the Pritchard family, because you've all seen it. You've all experienced other people's investigations. This investigation isn't about me retelling tales already told. This isn't about me telling you the same history that you've heard time and time again. This investigation is about my trip and my experience to 30 East Drive, a location that, uh, that I heard of as a child that terrified me because it was real. There are only a few locations in the UK with documented poltergeist activity that seem to be, that seem to have started from something real. And 30 East Drive has always been the one that's pulled me the most. The one that scared me as a child, a horror story we used to tell around the campfire while camping out as children. Something that made local headlines. It was a ghost story to tell. The thought of the house terrified me. And then to be able to visit 30 East Drive with connecting to Afterlife is an absolutely mind-blowing experience. What you are going to see is my real investigation at 30 East Drive. Whether things happen or they don't, it'll only ever be the truth. But join me as I complete a bucket list and I finally, finally get to experience 30 East Drive for myself. Alright guys, bit of year. 30 East Drive. I've waited years for this. Coming and investigate with... Here's <laughs> somebody screaming at the kid. Coming and investigate with myself and connecting to Afterlife. Um, they've been really kind in inviting me up. I'm gonna get in because this kicking out time of school and there's people shouting. The spirits who reside here at 30 East Drive. If you could make yourself known to us this evening, we would appreciate it. My name's Scott. My name's Ross. My name's Dale. We're here with full respect for you. If you can make any sound in the house, that would be great. Can you make a noise upstairs for us? Can you set off any of the devices that we've got laying around the house? Go towards the light or the aerial and make it sound. If we have Emma or Emily with us this evening, please come forward and interact with us. Can we hear you on the stairs? Can you set off the device again at the bottom of the stairs? We've got devices all over the house. You know what these devices are, lots of people use them. We don't mind if you want to throw them. There's things in front of us, there's things upstairs. Please feel free to use them if you're a child. You could play games with us, try and scare us. There's a plastic ball on the stairs if you want to chuck that down the stairs or push it. Or if it's not Emma or Emily here tonight, if it's anybody else that'd like to communicate and step forward, can you do that for us please? It's my first time here. I've wanted to come here since I was a child. I'd really, really appreciate it. If you could uh, let me know that you're here. I've traveled a long way to come and meet you. Whether you're Emma, Emily, Fred, or anyone else.
Can you copy this? I know it might take a lot of energy, but there's lots of equipment you can draw from. Apparently that, that can work. Feel free to use my energy or any of our energy. We are with total respect and we're just interested in you. All we have to do is to document you. I know we say it all the time, but we are here as friends. Friends. We come in peace. We're not here to disrespect you. Or upset you in any way. So for people watching at home, if you can hear every sort of four or five seconds, little taps, the tap in the kitchen is dripping, barely audible to us, but just if this camera does pick it up, just want you to know what that is. But that dripping, yeah. 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 I can barely hear it, yeah. but I'm thinking if the, the microphone on this is yeah. really sensitive. Yeah. It's almost like the house is more silent since we've gone lights out and started calling out than when yeah. we were just yeah. ambling about and having general conversation yeah. yeah well some people say that the cameras it's like they don't want to be on camera type thing don't they yeah but but yeah we gen generally find that if we're sitting here talking about normal stuff that's when you'll hear like something upstairs or yeah i mean we haven't had anything sort of major but we're in the kitchen, just not even talking about the house. Yeah, yeah. And that's when your Melrem went off. Yeah, yeah. And then as we stand in there saying, is that you? Are you up... What did you see? Something about going upstairs and then the... I think I said, are you upstairs or something? Yeah, the floorboard. And the floorboard went up to the top of the stairs. And I'm not going to sit here and say it was paranormal, but the timing on it was... Yeah. It was almost like by our heads. And it stopped as soon as you walked out towards it. Yeah. yeah, typically cameras weren't running, but yeah. it was a nice little early experience. Yeah, hopefully it's a, a good sign of things to come this evening. So that them numbers on that orange one, is that the temperature? That's the temperature, yeah. So that's 24 degrees? Degrees Celsius, yeah. Oh, saying that, and the air pressure, that's the air pressure, right? Yeah, it was. Flickering a little bit earlier, I zoomed in on it, but it was point one of a degree, so yeah. that could. Yeah. Each got a thing, but there's people. In... Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Was that you telling us that? You were affecting that orange box, making that yellow light flash. Was that you telling us that you was doing that? Can you flash that ball again? Maybe they thought I was being dismissive by saying it was only point something. Yeah. <laughs> So we've done uh, some calling out in the living room. We had a cat ball go off. A little bit of, what was the device that was just flickering a bit? Um, EDI meter. One of them, <laughs> EDI meter. Um, nothing much really, house is really quiet. So we have moved out onto the stairs, we're at the bottom. And to replicate, I can't remember the channel name. Adelaide. Adelaide Haunted Horizons. We've placed the same doll at the top of the stairs. Us three are both. Both? That's not three, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so 
So the three of us are all downstairs just to see if we can replicate the footage that I found absolutely incredible. I do have um, a camera upstairs um, pointing towards the doll. Um, so if we do manage to get the doll to fall down the stairs or get pushed down the stairs, we will be able to prove that no one's up there giving it a push with a stick or a wire, etc. So that would be pretty amazing if we, if we could get the same thing happen to us. So Emma or Emily or any spirit that's up the top of the stairs right now. We know you've done it before for a lady that was here previously. Can you push the doll that's at the top of the stairs? Can you push her down the stairs for us please? It'd be amazing if you can do it again. A lot of people didn't believe that it was real. That was me, sorry. I'd love for you to prove everyone wrong. Go on, give the dollar push for us. <laughs> the way you've angled the doll head as well, it's like it's looking, <laughs> looking down at us. Like, please, don't do that. <laughs> it's boring into my soul. <laughs> <laughs> The question is, if that actually moves, who's first gone? Yeah. <laughs> well, this door's locked now with you, so I'd have to yeah. run through you two to get through there. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, yes. Or someone next door. <laughs> and you can, you can tell the sounds from next door. They're far more muffled and... Yeah. It's Carl going upstairs. upstairs yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no mistake in Carl going upstairs for yeah. somebody or noises on these stairs. Yeah. Very Those different. noises you can tell are behind this wall. Yeah, these are thick. I mean, for everyone at home that doesn't know these walls, you can't just knock on them like in a, in a new build. These are, these are solid, solid walls. They've got the black mortar inside them. So um, I see videos all the time at East Drive and people saying it's next door, not the knocks I've heard. They sound like they're inside this house and until coming here I would have said it's, it could be coming from anywhere. Now being here and with us guys have been knocking on the walls already while we were setting up completely different noises that I've heard on people's videos that are definitely coming from inside. Has she got a baby next door? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I know she has young grandchildren. Yeah, but I, uh, think, but I don't know whether you know they could be staying there for the night. I don't know. But I don't know how old they are. But... She got a dog. Yeah, yeah she has got, got a dog. dog. Oh, maybe she's doing the sort of high pitched. Oh, oh yeah. good boy. Yeah, yeah, she got a dog. It's definitely the next door. Yeah. Come on, come on, push the doll down the stairs for us, please. If you can do it, can you do it? Can you push it? So if it's not Emily or Emma, what about the other spirits or people that reside here? There's apparently a negative entity here. Could you show us your power? What if we gave you a countdown from five? If we give you a countdown from five, 
on one, could you push either the doll or the little ball, pushing down the stairs towards us? If we count you down from five, would you like that? Would that be a game that you'd like to play? Shall I? Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. One big. Okay, spirits, we're now in Philip's bedroom. Can you do something for us while we're sitting in here? Can you set a device off that's outside in the hallway? Or make one of the balls flash that's on the floor? Will come affect one of the green lights in this room? Defect. Can you affect one of the devices out on the landing for us? Go close to them. Just so we know that you're out there and that we're not alone. Or can you make a sound in another room so we can hear you? Can you copy this or make a sound like this? This room is rumoured to have a portal. Can you use that? Come through the door? Now that we're upstairs, is there a sound that you could make downstairs? I know that's a game that you like to play. That's outside. Something I'll click up there then, or a tap. Yeah. Sound up by the clock. If that was you that made that tap, can you make it louder? I know we're asking a lot, and it may be hard for you, but we're just interested, and we want to hear what you've got to say. It doesn't seem as like. Earlier on, we were downstairs, and I was like, I can't believe how quiet and like yeah. nothing it felt. It doesn't mm. quite feel as empty now. Yeah. I don't know whether it's just because it's darker. Yeah. That's what I said, like, once it gets dark, the mood does change. Yeah. The atmosphere in the house does change yeah. when it gets darker. You know, I, I'm, I've never claimed to be like a sensitive or anything, yeah, yeah. but this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's coming from my bum, but it ain't. It's my gut. <laughs> Keep the bed. No. No, I haven't, I haven't moved. It just felt like the bed went. I thought that might have been you. No, no. Um, tap it with your foot or something. Keep no, it my feet have been here the whole time. There's a device on the landing with a green light on it, on the floor. If you can affect that. <laughs> the boy does do that, it kicks in. <laughs> For us, 
split second, I got quite excited then. Yeah. Like, here we go. Yeah. That's what the door goes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, spirits. Now that we've got the bedroom door closed, we can't actually see anything that's going on outside. Can you set a device off for us that's outside on the landing? It would be absolutely amazing if you could. Now that, we, now that we can't see, perhaps you could push that push chair or buggy down the stairs, down the stairs, down the stairs. Yeah, yeah. I had like a click. So it sounded there, right next to me. Like, um, it was almost metallic that, like yeah. a clink. Yeah. This wallpaper is um, look like that spongy seventies yeah. eighties. Uh, that was quite weird. That was right next to my ear. If that was you, could you do it again? Are you trying to get our attention? Weirdly, when we were talking amongst ourselves again. Yeah, as I could say it. When you're just talking about general stuff, you could be having a laugh, joke, talking about anything mm. other than the house, and all of a sudden, it's like it yeah. draws you back, and it's like... Yeah, it's like a year for me, but he's a little something, you know? Yeah. So you're playing a game with us, where every time we're not paying you attention, that's when you do things? I'm gonna make us scream like girls. <laughs> like Chris Tucker on Fifth Element. <laughs> <laughs> if you're children, all these toys we've left out for you, they're all light up. Some of them will make noises. Feel free to use whatever you want. Or use your own toys. There's dolls, everything. Show us something. Show us your favourite toy. I don't know if that was me or the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the gas demon yeah. again. <laughs> So I'm Dale, and I'm in Diane's room. I'm Ross, and I'm in the parents' room. And I'm Scott, and I'm in Philip's bedroom. Can you do something for us, please? Maybe turn the taps on at the bathroom. We know that it's been known that you can do that here. Can you turn the taps on now for us? So there's lots of toys in this room with me. There's a doll's house, some little rocking horses, a pram. Can you move one of them? Could you walk into your favourite room and touch one of us? I'm calling out to the spirits at 30 East Drive. You've been very quiet tonight. Come and show us what you can do. Throw something, tap anything you want. Make yourself known to us. Prove us, prove to us you're here. Come 
come and show us why this house is known as the UK's most haunted house. Why does this house have that reputation? Stop as soon as no, you go here again. Yeah. Just as we're talking about it as well. Hello, Spirit. Thank you for doing that. Yes, thank you. Is there any way that you could do that again for us? Please don't be afraid. I didn't mean to frighten you by coming in here. Was you trying to get our attention? I was going off for a good while then as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had the time to get up, grab yeah, my camera, yeah. turn my camera on. As soon as I walked in again, boom, stop. It was almost the same point as well. It's just yeah. as you pass this table, it's like, oh! Yeah. It's like they're going, oh, they're coming, quick, upstairs. <laughs> Bizarre that we, we were in there talking about the mail run. Yeah. yeah. Is that why you set it off, Spirit? Because we were talking about it? Are you able to do something else for us while we're standing here? Can you make a sound or a bang or do anything to alert us where you are? Is there any way that you can make a sound upstairs again on the landing? Right, so for you guys at home, um, when we came into the property earlier, the guys were setting their equipment up. We're in the living room just chatting. None of our cameras were even out of the, the lock, the boxes or bags. Malrem goes off. As we come out, it cuts off pretty much where I'm stood. It's been silent all night. We're in the living room again. The cameras are off. We're having a conversation about the mail room going off earlier. And then it goes off and stays on until we get to this point again. So we're going to try and go back in the living room. See if um, there's some sort of pattern to it. Maybe something's playing with us. Maybe really want that doll to come down the stairs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so willing to it. Okay, Spirit, so we're going to go back into the living room now. We would very much like for you to set this device off at the bottom of the stairs again. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. That was just weird how we was talking about it. Yeah, for the second time. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Actually gave me a little bit of a chill down my leg when that went off. <laughs> as long as that was the only thing that yeah. running down my leg. That definitely was. When we're asking for stuff to happen, it's dead yeah. It's when we just talking. Talk in and Yeah. But like I said, that's what I find about this house. It's when you're not talking, you're not when you're not calling out for the spirit to ask, you know, to do stuff, and you're just generally having a chat and a giggle and a, and a laugh, and all of a sudden something like that will happen. It's almost like the spirit saying, "Come on, you know, you're ignoring me, let's." Yeah. It's almost like a tension seeking. Yeah. What's that? What's that? What's that? That's when it like a door. Did you hear that? Yeah, oh, that, that was a door. It's like a door. -do. That was a door. Oh, I definitely heard it. It was like a double tap. Yeah. What the? All of those were open upstairs, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. And it's no, they were closed. It didn't sound like a door closing. It just sounded like a 
Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Did it sound like it come from upstairs? It sounded like it came from up here, like a, do you know the doors just like, on like the it. latch? Yeah. It's like a yeah. Yeah, I heard that. I'm just gonna stick my head over to see if uh No, uh, they're all still open. Why don't you close that um, Diane's door? Is there anyone left in 30 East Drive that wants to play with us? Travelled a long way to come and meet you. We've brought all of our equipment for you to play with. Next door. That's next door, yeah. That's Carol's next door, yeah. That was a door closing next door. Yeah, see that was the same kind of bump as earlier. But, but it you sounded could, like it was up. Yeah, there was that's more muffled because yeah. obviously there's a big stone wall between us. Yeah. It was the same sound I heard, but mm. above me. Yeah. Which is why I thought that the door closed upstairs. Fred, are you with us tonight? The feelings we've had are more like there's some children playing. That sounded like it was out there. I was going to say, was that, me that time. Was, was that your stomach or somebody kicking a washing basket? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely sounded like it was out there. What well, was outside that, that bit is the back garden. Yeah. Fred, if you can hear us and you are in this house with us this evening, some people don't believe that you exist. We would like some evidence to show them that you do. Is that on top of wood? Sounds like a wood. Yeah, it sounds like wood over there. Oh. Yeah. Is that you giving us a little sign there, Fred? Or was it just wood in the building settling? You've got to give us more than that. Spirits, I'm on my own in Philip's room. You're welcome to come join me. Let yourself be known if you're here. I'd love to be scared right now. It was a really big jump scare. the boy look at it on.
It's like you've just set in my EMF off. It's the first time it's gone off all night. Yeah. It went up to about a three, but it was just after the boiler, or after it makes the washing noise, there's a click, like a 30 seconds after. It was almost in line with that. Do you make this device with my hand go off again? I see videos of people using these all the time where they have communication or potential communication I've never had it Could you try? I think you know how this device works. I imagine a lot of people come in with them. Please open the bedroom door. Oh shit. That's my um, plasma cam. That's how I am getting the MF5. Really? When it went big, did you? Yeah. Yeah. It lasted for about five or six seconds. What was it? The bay thing, was it? Yes, no, it's the. Um my full spectrum camera. Oh. Every sort of eight eight minutes it does that because it records in like eight minute segments. So it does that little beep when it's starting the next segment, if you see what I mean. Alright. I thought we had a ghosty with us then. <laughs> So that's the end of the investigation to East Drive. It is gone three o'clock in the morning. Connect to Afterlife sleeping downstairs, and um, I've taken the parents' bedroom. Creepy dolls everywhere. It's been a good night. We've had a few little bits. We've had cat balls going off and the Melrem going off. A few little noises, little bangs, little taps. Nothing. Hugely poltergeisty, but you know, I gotta sleep yet. Bucket list item crossed. I've actually been to 30 East Drive and done an investigation. Magical. Subscribe, like, share, subscribe the video. Jump on over to Connecting to Afterlife. Drop them a follow, drop them a subscribe, like the videos, all that stuff. Genuinely, really nice guys. And um, it's been an absolute blast. Bucket list item crossed. Beardo out.